Hello, this is Ken Huss. Welcome to this week's edition of Kenny's Two Pennies. This week we're going to look at what looked like a promising first half, but then a typical Greg Robinson team second half. Oh well. But first, here's a couple of quick hits, folks. Oh boy, there's a whole lot of good ones to choose from. I'd have to say Brian's song, the original one. That has a lot of great scenes in it, great acting by James Conn and Billy D. Williams. Even makes big grown men like me go, <coughs> especially when you die there, Mr. Conn. I'd have to say, great pie with the crumbs on top. Always like going down to Naples during the fall, especially when the colors change and getting that. Thing is, I'll always have to get one, because you know who else likes it? My mom and my sister. Well, 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 Syracuse fans. It looked like we might be able to stay with one of the top teams in the Big East and the country. Heck, our offense was doing pretty good there in the first half. But in the second half, again, what, what do you get when you get a Greg Robinson coach team? An offense that can't get itself into first gear, always in neutral, and a defense that is specifically designed to fold under pressure when they face the no huddle spread offense. The defensive coordinator is not doing his homework, guys. We gotta get somebody in there who knows how to handle the no huddle spread. Well, let's look at the first half for a sec. First half, Curtis Mujahideen Kampona Brinkley was showing what he's been doing all year, having a tremendous year. He said this year was going to be a breakout year for him. And last five games, he's gone over the century mark in yards. He had two pretty cool runs there in the first half, especially that one he took for the touchdown. Then on the one where he, it just looked to me like the South Florida player might have come off the bench. Either that or he was out of bounds. If he was out of bounds, he should have been ineligible. But that's college rules for you. If he did come off the bench, why didn't the official see it? If he did, that shoe could have been awarded a touchdown, like that Rice player back in the 50s against Alabama. But we, our offense did look pretty good. Our defense didn't look good in the first half. Because as I said, they aren't designed to handle the spread. Only a butter knife can handle the spread, especially on a nice piece of warm bread. It was 21 to 13 when we got to the half. Our offense moved the ball pretty good, but again, we get down towards the goal line. Suddenly, our offense decides to sputter, commit penalties, and then stop. Was something wrong with our transmission, Mr. Browning? <laughs> <laughs> so you gotta check that it must got a cold or something but then in the second half what's with this just nine yards of total offense so I think four or five three and outs and what really caused us to cave in was that fumble by Dantley deep in our territory goes back the defense for South Florida says, Sit down, son. And what do you do? You <coughs> up the ball. They recover on the two-yard line. And, of course, when they only got two yards to go, what do you expect? Next play, punch it in. And our defense, as I said, we got to find somebody to stop that style of offense. Rich Rodriguez knew what he was doing when he incorporated it. He brought it in, and Urban Myers perfected it wherever he's coached. Of course, Syracuse can't afford to bring Urban Meyer up to University Hill. 
So we gotta make do with what we gotta make do. But we hope to bring in a coordinator next year. Who knows how to stop the spread? Or either that, or Browning's gotta incorporate the spread somewhat on our offense. It seems as though the days of the two-back offense, folks, are numbered. I'm still still in favor of having the fullback, but uh, that they say the evolution of offense always it always evolves every 15, 20 years. But uh, so as you get, same old Greg Robinson coach team, same old disastrous result, 45 to 13. As the Valley girls would say, gag me with a spoon. Well, that's 25 years out of luck, but hey, it works for me. I'm Ken Haas, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Well, I haven't really seen much of them, but if there's one for Iron Man or the Incredible Hulk, I think that should be the best costume. Thing is, maybe they could take my carat caricature and put it on the Hulk. Can he smash? <laughs>